were samples? No, not samples. They were like extra shirts in your size. I don't know. These are larges, my G. I don't wear them large. All of them are large. Brandy literally gives me this. Yeah, what? It doesn't matter what fucking diet I go on. This is not going to fucking. No, it doesn't. I don't understand. Nor does it. If you see me wearing a shirt that small. Maybe. Here, this is. Got your wife trolling now? Nice. Everybody's trolling me. Omar, we're going to the old place. This is it. It's the end. So the pictures and insurance claim are in. I'm just waiting on a response. The lady called me yesterday and said they're putting it all together. On Twitch last night, Yeah. there was an Office Depot jig where you could basically add coupon after coupon after coupon and it just kept taking money off. So I ordered a $1,500 TV for, I got $1,100 off, but it hasn't shipped. And most everybody's order has been canceled, it seems like. Huh. Hey, try it. Let's smoke a joint before we go. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, the man. Oh! I was like, but trust me, someone definitely got fucking fired over it. They're like, Jesus, Teddy. I was like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, and I even quoted another tweet that was like, damn, Teddy's businessman, he ain't playing. I was like, it is way too motherfucking late in the game for a bunch of rookie ass mistakes. Yeah. Like, what the fuck's going on? So, you were sick yesterday? Yeah. I, played I asked Cry. you if it was food poison. Oh. Well, God, I thought you saw because Brandy like snaps me playing Far Cry. It was at like nine at night, yeah. but um, she's like sick means playing video games or something. Real I, sick. You don't I, know real sickness. Soft. You had macaroni and cheese. Yeah. After you were sick. Yeah, fuck out of here. It's healthy kind though. It's, what does that uh, even mean? I don't know. There's barely any cheese on it. It's from okay. Fit Kitchen. It's, I'm good. it's got a little turkey in it, oh, but it's like what mild. The fuck? It's mild. It's making me want to go get sick now. There I am now. You are still alive. Yeah. And well. Feeling good. I'm gonna run later. Well, you're here yesterday. So. The next people that live here enjoy the green spectrum. It matches. I didn't know the weed tray was, it wasn't so well hidden, but the glass didn't kind of break. Some ganja on the front porch, but it's a good thing we're moving out of here. Your ride's here, Ted. It is an app. I was checking to see if there's an app or a credit card in Where are you? It looks like you're about to get on. Does it look like that? Yeah. Do I have my phone out downloading an app or anything? <laughs> Should I test it? Should we test it? Yeah, I'll drive. If you want to take the scooter home and take the camera. Say you're hard at work. What up? They, the movers broke my TV. Your brand new one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just one thing. Shit just ain't going well for you. Uh, I mean, things are going well. I'm, just, I'm not gonna say that, but it's just like there's definitely some uh, makeup. Yeah, there was some bumps along the fucking going well path. Yeah, those moon, uh, moon yellow, whatever the fuck they are, the, the Yeezys. Yeah. They they were pretty easy to get. Of course they were. Within 30 seconds, I was in. Then I had my size and I was like, what do these things resell for? And it's like 10 more dollars. I was like, yeah, I'm good on. What? Claim that you guys also jump on there to fucking see what you resell for. Well, not really, because if, if, if it was like a Yeezy, uh, Opportunity, I'll take it. That, but I'll also, if it was an opportunity, I'd keep it. That's the thing. If it's a shoe I like, I'd keep it. Uh -huh. Just those, those moon, not even moon, the fucking whatever, 500. I'm just not into it. Then I'm gonna put mine in the truck first, okay? Okay. Sweet. Yeah. It looks nice though now. It looks yeah. like a nice living room. Yeah. Hey, what have you been doing all morning anyway? What have you been doing all day? What have you been doing all day? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we are in shambles for real here. And we have boxes every fucking where. The shoe room is fucking full, full. This is insane. This is too much shit. This has me kind of freaking out a little bit and I don't even get OCD, but uh, yeah, this is a lot. And this room is just smaller. <sighs> okay. Um, they're still, these are empty. They're still like, what, one, two, three, four, at least six bags left of shoes. Bro, I gotta fucking get rid of more shoes. This is too much. Overwhelming. Ugh. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, so the shooter is not gonna get finished tonight. I have to stop. I'm clearly overwhelmed. Get out of here. So I have to get these boxes out somewhere. And the drawing room is still exactly the way it's looked past two days. Same. Lamar did get a new bed. I don't know how he got paper towels on it, but he did get himself a new bed. And then we got this package. Today, I've been asked a couple of times about my fitness journey. So, um, I haven't really updated you guys since I moved, I guess. I have not been to the gym since I moved. That hasn't happened. But I do have kettlebells outside, so I have swung those around. I need one more kettlebell, and I'm gonna... I'll have that whole set. I need like the heaviest, heaviest one, which I don't even really need right now. I do want to be thorough. Today I canceled my gym membership, unfortunately. I love that gym, but I had to cancel it because it's super expensive and I'm not gonna make it all the way down there. As far as my fitness journey goes, this week has been lax, but I've been moving stuff. And one thing that, you know, I learned a long time ago is, you know, going to the gym is about physical activity and, you know, resistance training, all that shit. Moving boxes and you're doing all this extra shit, I don't necessarily feel as if you need to kill yourself to get to the gym. Like, you're doing work. You're working your body. You're moving your body around. So, uh, I think that's fine. Uh, I know that a lot of people like to stick to a crazy regimen and not miss anything at all, and it makes them feel just like, fucking amazing. It doesn't do that for me anymore. I used to, I used to be militant, but now I'm mellow. From militant to mellow, it's gonna be uh, my autobiography. And then nutrition wise, it's been just clicking on all cylinders. I actually just enjoy eating this way mostly. So it's really salads and steaks, occasional fruit, stuff that I've shown you guys I've eaten, but all that's well and good. I don't know how much weight I've lost. I don't track my weight. I don't do that. What I do is I just wear clothes and how clothes fit, how I feel, is how I determine uh, what's going on. So as far as that goes, my clothes are definitely looser. My pant sizes, I can wear pants that I wasn't wearing two months ago. So everything is fine. That's basically how I look at it. So that's my update on that. Uh, you know, there may be changes. I've always said that I wasn't gonna do this. I'm not a huge custom shoe guy at all. I don't wear them. Oh, is this? This is a work. Uh, I don't wear them. People have offered to make them for me. It's not something that generally sticks out to me. Uh, I don't know why, I have no idea why. But, which this might make me, this is the funniest way of opening the box. Hey. So last night I went off on kind of a rant about sneakers and sneaker YouTube and just in general and talking to people now who are necessarily not feeling the best about their position in the world. I don't like some of the stuff that's happened, I think, in like the culture. And it's the same shit that turned me off before, but I really don't like being involved in some of it. So there's like certain changes that are gonna fucking probably happen. One of those changes is probably gonna be, I'm gonna review shoes a lot less. I'm gonna review shoes when I want to. When I get something that I really like wanna share with you guys and there's a story or something, I'm gonna review it. But there's a lot of weird shit in the whole sneaker YouTube world. And I feel as if I've separated myself enough as is, and I'm gonna continue to do that because I don't wanna be associated with some of this shit. And it just is what it is. Like, I just wanna be an artist, do art things, and make a blog. The shoes are great, but I'm gonna go down with this quote again. I'm done with the whole like, how many shoes you have or what you have. It's more about where you're gonna go with it. And that's what I'm trying to do is just go somewhere with it, you know, just a forewarning. But something else about going somewhere with it. Shout out to the homies at Angelus. I don't know if, you, if I'm saying that right. Ang Angelus is how I think you say it, but it may be Angelus, Angelus, I don't know. But I reached out to them because I'm sort of a weirdo. When I wanna do something, I have to be like over prepared. That's why I buy the biggest computer to Twitch and the fucking every single color of paint when I wanna start doing paintings, um, which I haven't been able to do. And uh, <clears throat> just another thing, time management. We all, me and Ern's big talk today, time management. We're gonna hit you guys with the whole talk, I think soon. I think the plan is to start the podcast and sort of explain things that haven't been explained here. But Angela sent this out because I hit them up when I heard about the Yeezy restock. That's how I got on this tangent. People ask me all the time on Twitch, Nah, you know, like, what do you think about this restock? What do you think about that? I've been super adamant from the beginning that I don't, if restock, like, I don't like restocks over the, like, I don't appreciate things that get run into the ground over 20 years. I, we've established this. So, it's the same with tattooing. If I see another Sailor Jerry tattoo done exactly the same way, it's just, it's, it gets fucking annoying at some point. There's no, there's no, uh, there's, yeah, you know what I'm saying. There's no newness to it. With this white Easy restock, a lot of people are upset, think Easy's are dead, whatever, whatever. They're just doing some sort of psychological, I haven't played a psychological game in a long time. I'm really done hearing about it. But one thing that I think is exciting about it 
because I would like to paint dragons on the white cream Yeezys. I'd like to maybe get a full size run, paint dragons on all of them, and then do something with that. I don't know what, but something. Sell them, donate them, auction them off. I don't have any idea. So I hit up Angelus, 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 God damn, to ask them like, yo, I just need all these colors. I don't know what I want to do, blah, 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 blah. And he just told me that he'd send me a box. So shout out to you guys for that. Boom, boom, boom. So it's just a cleaner. They got a nice little cleaner here. And we got a couple of paints. We got orange, we got black, we got yellow, we got flat white. This is all acrylic leather paint. Uh, acrylic finisher, red leather preparer and deglazer. A brush, some more brushes, actual paint brushes. Too soft fabric medium additive. I'm assuming you add this to the paint to make it work on fabric. So they hit me up with a shirt too. Thanks guys, appreciate it. I'm gonna do something with these. I need to get a pair of shoes, I guess, to start on. So, to do that first. But yeah, shout out to you guys. I do appreciate it. Maybe we'll start with a black and white dragon just to make it easier. Cause I haven't painted on shoes since fucking Vans back in the day. When they did, they did like an art show. I did a pair of Vans, but whatever. Um, some tattooers. Anyway, uh, as far as shoes do go, I do have a pair of shoes to review for you because I actually do want to talk about the shoe. Alexander Wang, Elfkin. 1.0, no. People don't like this shoe. Well, they didn't like the, well, let me get the white one because we need to talk about it. So this shoe definitely turned people off. This was one of the first boo shoes that I saw on the internet where people were like, what the fuck? I've always liked it because it looks way better on feet. This does look weird. It's like creamish. This is not focusing that well. The top, you know, has a little more creamish. Sock collar is a little creamish, but all white upper. Mine are actually, I've worn these not that much. I do really like the shoe, but this is one that just, dude, you get them fucked up, they're fucked up. And they never came back out. And this is one I don't necessarily want to fuck up, but I love the shoe. The sock neck collar is great. Uh, they fucking improved the shit out of the shoe. Like they totally, Alexander Wang, Adidas, I don't know who to give credit to. Somebody improved it. Uh, the knit on this one is crazy it's mad open it almost has like a 4.0 vibe where it you have the vertical lines but um well i guess they're horizontal but when you have the straight lines with the open poured pk creates a different look but with this shoe it creates movement and it creates a movement on the inside of the foot that quite honestly to me is super just beautiful it, the way that it flows with the side of your foot it looks really pretty when you look down on it it's sort of like the most fire nmd that you can get basically with the trail boost. One drawback of it that's not like an NMD. Uh, the cut on this is definitely a little more narrow. You're gonna feel it. It's not crazy, but if you have a wide foot, you're and not really a lot of room for sizing up because this sock collar is a sock collar. You're not, you don't want a loose sock. Loose socks are not cool anywhere in the world. I don't find it to be uncomfortable. I will say it's noticeable when you put it on, you will feel the narrowness. It will kind of feel like your foot is teetering a little on the boost, especially if you have any kind of wideness to your feet. If you have skinny fucking goddamn you know, long feet, granddaddy long feet, you're probably finding it super comfy. Uh, trail boost is nice little addition, makes for a little more comfort. I always say trail boost gives you something for the boost to bounce back on. And then, um, yeah, the fit is true to size to me. Always gone 13 in these. I have not done um, really anything else other than that. There's only two models, both are amazing. Uh, but I do really like this black knit is just fire. Actually, now that I'm remembering, this is actually mesh, I do believe. I think when I reviewed this originally, I got flame because I said it was PK and it was technically mesh but it you know it's pk like and this is i'm gonna say definitely pk oh and yesterday when i didn't know what 8go meant true i didn't it's the it, people have proclaimed it's probably the her i can't say the word anyway so it doesn't matter but where adidas started hers was all i can't say it i'm not gonna try to say it y'all know what i'm saying read the comments yesterday's vlog you'll see it but yeah you guys are most likely right well what's funny is the HDO isn't what I wanted to even talk about. Statement part is the part that I was like interested in talking about and forgot. The fact that that's a statement right there is a little different. Usually it would say like Adidas Originals or, uh, you know, performance or football, soccer, whatever. But anyway, these are fire. I love the shoe. I definitely think there's been an improvement. They put a different boost on it. This has more of that fish scale boost like the new Pharrell's have. You know, your more textured boost. Dope shoe, upside down travel well, which is, you know, I'm pretty into that whole motif with the Wang stuff. I really like the upside down travel well. I'm really annoyed with some of the clothing from this collection. Not this collection, but Wang over the years. Seems as the pants are getting super loose and the tops are getting super short. So it's a very strange place to live in, but 
I'm doing my best. But yeah, that's the shoe. That's pretty much it. That is the day. I don't know what's going on tomorrow yet. We'll see. Uh, for now, I need to kind of finish all these shoes and things of that nature. I don't really know. But yeah, as far as shipping goes, everything from the drop last week should be shipping already now, today. By tomorrow, we had a hiccup with some baby stuff, toddler stuff. So if your stuff, there were some things that show they're delivered back in Littleton for some reason. We're working that out with USPS. It should be on the way. Some stuff got printed crooked. Most of it got caught before it left. Somebody definitely got fired. I definitely got upset and it's definitely getting fixed. So just to be completely transparent about that. My life is not all rainbows. Shit gets annoying. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you for being here and um, we will see you tomorrow. God willing. Peace.